Hi, this is Rachel from Kaggle, and today I'm going to show you how to start a kernel and uh, add your own data that you have locally on your computer. So first I'm going to click on the kernels tab here from the Kaggle homepage, and then I'm going to create a new kernel. Uh, and by doing it this way, I'm going to create a kernel that's not associated with the specific data set that we have on Kaggle. It has no data sources, and you can see that that is indicated right here. Uh, and I'm actually going to add a data source that I have locally on my computer. So when you click Add Data, you get this option to upload a data set. You can upload a local file, and I'm going to do that. Uh, and I'm going to select a file to upload, and in a window that you can't see, I am using my File Explorer to select this Mock Data CSV. Uh, and I'm just going to call this data set Mock Data Test. It's private, so no one else can see this data set. It's already a CSV, but if it were in a different format, like um, an Excel file, I could convert it to a CSV if I wanted to. And I can now create this. Uh, and so this is creating a new data set that I can interact with, uh, interact with like any other data set on the Kaggle platform. And it is adding it to my kernel here. So if I... Uh, once my kernel reloads, because we're restarting the virtual machine, uh, I can import pandas as pd, uh, and I can uh, import my file as I would any other file. So it's in the one directory up and then it's in the input directory, and it is called, uh, let's see if we take a look at the mock data file, we can see that it is uh, mockdata.csv. So I can actually just copy and paste that file path in order to get the file that I need. And then I can, interact with it like any other data set that I have read in. And this is generated data. This is not real people's data. Uh, and that's all you need to do to load in data that you have locally in order to use it on a Kaggle kernel.